as always in this, please mute yourself, keep yourself on mute unless you are speaking uh, in that part of the service. That would be great. Um, we are all well aware of what's happening in Washington, DC as well. Just got muted. Sorry, Greta. It's okay, now I'm unmuted. We are all well aware of what's happening in Washington, DC, uh, the events that have been unfolding since about two o'clock or so this afternoon. And I am quite certain that we've all been uh, in the midst of our shock, we've been praying fervently for an end to um, that level of terrorism and violence and for um, the beginning of a peaceful transition of power. We had all hoped it wouldn't come to this, but here we are. And uh, to that end, uh, we've just learned that the woman who was shot um, earlier this afternoon has died. Um, so I think we'll begin with that. If you would light your candle or if it's already lit, we're just gonna have a moment of silence for her. We don't know her name. And for all of the people who are in harm's way down there, for journalists, for our elected officials, and even for the protesters themselves who are putting themselves in harm's way through this protest. Shouldn't say protest, through this riot, the rioters themselves who are putting themselves and others in harm's way. Light, light our candles and have some silence. Tonight we are gathered to celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany, the arrival of the Magi uh, at the home of Jesus and his parents. We celebrate this in the church as the gift of Jesus to the Gentiles beyond the Israelites. We celebrate it as a time when the light shone that God intended for us, the light of love and reconciliation and justice. And tonight we are celebrating it in the midst of violence and injustice. Somehow that seems a little bit appropriate, I guess. Not that we would have asked for this, but here we are. It is appropriate at times like this for the church to gather, not just for a feast day, but in these times of unrest and to consider our own place in all of this and places in our own lives where we have fallen short of the glory of God. And so as is appropriate in the Christian faith and in our Episcopal faith, we're gonna begin our service tonight with the great litany, which is our petitions to God for God's mercy upon us as a body of people. I'm gonna share your, my screen with you for the entire service. The Great Litany is not fully on there, but your responses are. If you have a prayer book and you wish to follow along to, uh, to read along the whole thing, you certainly can. The Great Litany begins on page 148 of the prayer book. Um, but it will be, the responses will be on your screen and Stan will be leading them. God the Father, creator of heaven and earth. Have mercy upon us. God the Son, redeemer of the world. Have mercy upon us. 
God, the Holy Ghost, sanctifier of the faithful. Have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God. Have mercy upon us. Remember not, Lord Christ, our offenses, nor the offenses of our forefathers. Neither reward us according to our sins. Spare us, good Lord. Spare your people, whom you have redeemed with your most precious blood. And by your mercy, preserve us forever. Spare us, good Lord. From all evil and wickedness, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, and from everlasting damnation. Good Lord, deliver us. From all blindness of heart, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and from all want of charity. Good Lord, deliver us. From all inordinate and sinful affections, and from all the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us. From all false doctrine and heresy and schism, from hardness of heart and contempt of your word and commandment. Good Lord, deliver us. From lightning and tempest, from earthquake, fire, and flood, from plague, pestilence, and famine. Good Lord, deliver us. From all oppression, conspiracy, and rebellion, from violence, battle, and murder, and from dying suddenly and unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity and submission to the law, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation. Good Lord, deliver us. By your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit. Good Lord, deliver us. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. We sinners beseech you to hear us, O God, and that it may please you to rule and govern your holy church universal in the right way. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to illumine all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of your word, and that both by their preaching and living, they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to bless and keep all your people. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord that it may please you to send forth laborers into the harvest and to draw all people into your kingdom. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to give to all people increase of grace, to hear and receive your word and to bring forth the fruits of the spirit. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to bring into the way of truth all such as have erred and are deceived. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to give us a heart to love and fear you and diligently to live according to your commandments. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you so to rule the hearts of your servants, the President of the United States and all others in authority that they may do justice, love mercy, and walk in the ways of truth. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to make wars to cease in all the world, to give to all nations unity, peace, and concord, and to bestow freedom upon all peoples. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to show your pity upon all prisoners and captives, the homeless and the hungry, and all who are desolate and oppressed. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to give and preserve to our use the bountiful fruits of the earth, 
so that in due time all may enjoy them. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to inspire us in our several callings, to do the work which you have given us to do with singleness of heart as your servants and for the common good. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to preserve all who are in danger by reason of their labor or their travel. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to preserve and provide for all women in childbirth, young children and orphans, the widowed, and all whose homes are broken or torn by strife. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to visit the lonely, to strengthen all who suffer in mind, body, and spirit, and to comfort with your presence those who are failing and infirm. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to support, help, and comfort all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to have mercy upon all humankind. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances and to endue us with the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to strengthen such as do stand, to comfort and help the weak-hearted, to raise up those who fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to grant to all the faithful departed eternal life and peace. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That it may please you to grant that in the fellowship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Blessed Paul, and all the saints, we may attain to your heavenly kingdom. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech you to hear us. Son of God, we beseech you to hear us. Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. O Lord, let your mercy be shown on us. As we do put our trust in you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who has promised to hear the petitions of those who ask in your Son's name, we beseech you mercifully to incline your ear to us, who have now made our prayers and supplications to you, and grant that those things which we have asked faithfully, according to your will, may be obtained effectually, to the relief of our, necess of our needs, and to the setting forth of your glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the 
Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son. That he may rule your people righteously, and the poor with justice. That the mountains may bring prosperity to the people. And the little hills being righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no the kings of Tarshish and of the isle shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All the kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise among you, upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice. 
because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you. The young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. Here ends the reading. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. reading from Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. 
for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Here ends the reading. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us say the words of our faith that make us strong. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth. 
Lead us, who know you now by faith, to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God of life of all who live, O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask you for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. <laughs> I invite your prayers at this time. You may unmute to 
speak them out loud or you may type them into the chat box or pray them in your heart. We pray especially for the events unfolding in Washington DC at this time. We give thanks that the Capitol seems to be secured and that violence has been kept to a minimum. We pray for our elected officials that they may continue their work tonight, certifying the election of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as president and vice president of these United States. I pray for the repose of the soul of Jim O'Donnell, who lived at Three, three Cathedral Square and worshiped with us recently. I offer prayers of thanks for this, the 12th anniversary of my ordination and for my, the honor and serve of serving at the cathedral. I pray for the struggles of Jackie Robertson. I pray for Eileen who is dying this night. That box for Lauren, who has begun, begun her chemotherapy. And echoing our thanks for Stan's ministry among us. Pray for the repose of the soul of the unknown woman who was killed in the Capitol today. For her family who will grieve her loss. We pray a long for time ago, a long time ago, Someone taught me that during the 12 days of Christmas, that Jesus is born in our hearts. And that on the onset of Epiphany, he grows up. So may he all grow up in our hearts, especially this, this day of mourning, challenge, grief. For Dottie, who will have her 94th birthday at Harbor Village tomorrow. And for Dottie Darling, who will have her 100th birthday tomorrow. My grandson, Robert, who will be eight tomorrow on Russian Christmas. For those killed in the avalanche in Scandinavia. All of these prayers we send to you, O Lord, ones that we have spoken and put into the chat box and those that are spoken only in our hearts that you know, O Lord. We pray especially that you shower your mercy upon this nation. We may move through these next two weeks without violence and upset and observe finally a peaceful transition of power. Let us pray together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.